they've yet starts quicker than other indigenous nations, but still it has a lot of missions and pretty good amount of flavor. In this video, I'll show you how to become the strongest nation in Indochina as they've yet. Focus on admin and hire level 1 military advisor. Now take Parker loans and that's it. Don't give out any other privileges. Someone died and choose the proposal of nobility. And complete it, I are going to complete it. Maybe not now, but you need to. Now let's check our diplomatic situation. Usually either Lan Sun or Khmer rivals you, and the other one will ally you. So in this case Lan Sun will ally me, and Khmer will rival me. Now let's set our rivals. Rival Ayutthaya, Champa, and either Khmer or Lan Sun. I'll rival Khmer. Now improve relations with Lan Sun and Pegu. And build spy network on Champa. Move your army here. And now let's just wait. After this event you lose one stability, which is just awful because you want at least one stability. Because if you get one stability before 1459 you may get an event where this regent becomes your queen. Then you can disinherit this heir and you won't have any mana problems. So about this event, confusion faith is 10 times better than your starting one. But if you want an achievement, don't change your religion, don't convert. I don't really need achievement, that's why I choose confusion one. I missed the moment, but when your spy network reaches 15, recruit free company. Ideally you should do it when it reaches 13 or 15 so your free company can replenish its morale. Usually Champa doesn't ally anyone, so it's kinda easy to win even without free company. Paprika claim on Vijaya, assign this general to your army, and let's take on Champa. Move in with your regular army, tag wipe, yes here it is, uh, split your army, two times, uh, leave this stack here and move the other ones here and move in your free company here. You need to conserve your manpower. You are going to blitz the hole in the China. Right now build spy network on Khmer or Lan Sun. Khmer is my rival so I started building spy network on it. And by the way Khmer usually rivals you and Lan Sun allies you, usually. I think 8 out of 10 times. Let's boost our stability once more. Here it is. Now I'll try to keep it at this level. So I've already almost won, but sometimes Mer declares on Champa. What does it mean? It means that you shouldn't conquer Champa, but vassalize it. If you captured Vijaya, then you will have enough of war score for this. If you vassalize it, then you'll be at war against Khmer, but you'll be in defensive war. That means that Khmer wouldn't be able to call its allies. Unfortunately, I wasn't that lucky here, so let's just conquer it. And take some money, it's important. Now let's fabricate claim on either Khmer or Lan Sun. Let's ally Lan Sun and Pegu. I should be able to. Yes, I am. Don't wait until you core your provinces, you might declare it on it right now. Usually it doesn't have any strong allies, uh, but in one of my test runs it allied Ayutthaya. In this case, to be honest I'm going to restart. But if you don't want to, well it's still possible to win, but it would be less optimal, because you won't be able to declare on Ayutthaya right after this war. You may carry favors with your ally and call it in, or just promise it land. But it should be easy enough to win against Khmer by yourself. It's quite easy to micro here, because it doesn't have any forts. But Lan Sun is different, it has some forts, so it may be more difficult to win by yourself. So you may call in Khmer or some other ally. Also by the way, you have a lot more mill mana than Khmer, so you may wait until you get mill tech 4 and only then declare. But I don't recommend waiting this long. Let's micro a little and as you can see it's easy to kill them. And now for stack wipe. Here it is, stack wipe was quite easy. So if you successfully stack wiped Khmer army, carpet siege it. Why do you need to do it? So Khmer doesn't build more troops. Yes, as you can see it already tries to do it, but I won't let it. By the way, Lan Sun joined in. Not a problem, I've already sieged everything I need. Okay, here it is. What should you take from Khmer? From Khmer take uh, these provinces. This is the bare minimum, but ideally you should also take Mekon, full area, and some money. It won't decrease, so I need to wait a little more. If you declared a land sun, make a bridge to Ayutthaya. Remember that soon enough you may get subjugation CB from your missions. But right now your priority is just to get to Ayutthaya. Here it is, it's surrendered. Here it is, this event. Uh, that's why I said to keep your stability at 1. So choose this option and disinherit your heir. Just call in your ally and you should be able to easily beat Ayutthaya. Usually it doesn't ally anyone's throne. You can try to beat it even without allies, you just need to hire more mercenaries. Also, I found that Malaka usually agrees to ally you, so you can call it in too. I'll call in Land Sun and it should be a piece of cake. So, one little tip, if you're afraid that your ally is too stupid, like it was in my case, you may try to click this button, allow attach. Keep an eye on your ally, you shouldn't have small war enthusiasm. If you need to, help it. And remember, divide and conquer. Try to divide your enemies and only then engage in battles. Well, Lan Sun pissed out I guess. It's quite an anomaly I would say, because in my previous tries it was quite smarter and it was quite easier to win the war. So I have 60 ducats in loans, that's why I'm going to hire mercenaries. Another free company, why not? 
I'm going to take money from Eutheia, so I should uh, still be in profit. I assure you, my previous tries were easier. I don't know what happened here. So, let me explain my plan. By conquering or aligning Khmer early, you won't let Ayutaya finish its missions that give it ability to subjugate on Sun, and by doing this you will greatly weaken it. And also, by taking its capital early, you will leave it without any income, and it will be quite poor. Something went wrong here, but still, I can do what I planned. So I recommend to take its capital, because it's the only center of trade in Ayutaya. Also guys, if you conquered something from Sun and not from Khmer, route is a little different, but still, it's pretty affordable as you can see. Also, if you can, try to take war operations, if you can, of course. If you can't, not a big deal. Now let's complete the nobility estate agenda. You might complete it earlier, it depends on the agenda, I just wanted to first get new tech and only then develop my province. If you conquered Iron and James provinces, give us a monopolist to nobility. You need its loyalty. Technically, now you're already the strongest nation in Indochina. Before you break alliance with Lansan or Khmer, first kill off Ayutthaya and Khmer or Lansan. First do it and then you may uh, declare on your ally. But also there was one case when it broke alliance with me earlier. If it was before the war with Ayutthaya, I recommend to save scum and just crash the game. It may help you. It's quite small chance, believe me, but it may happen unfortunately. It may happen. Also now you can hire more advisors after these wars because you stole money from everyone else. Also of course I recommend to ally Malaka, can I? Can't yet, but soon enough I'll be able to. Here it is, it usually agrees. So, as for your second reform, choose this one. Cartel Noble Privileges. It's quite important, because you need to cancel this privilege. Here it is, guys. Yes, I can do it right now already. So, let's revoke the privilege. Now, let's start seizing land. You shouldn't seize land before you cancel this privilege. So, I guess I was unlucky, and now I can't propagate claim on Khmer, unfortunately. Oh, no, I can. Okay, let's propagate claim on it, and uh, let's finish it off. By the way, even if Lansan doesn't occur on it, you still can full annex it. You may already try developing Renaissance, so set this edict, encourage development, and don't spend military mana on development. So, here it is, the truce has ended, let's declare on it right now, so it doesn't join the coalition. Let's do it. If Khmer or Lansan ally Ayutthaya, First wait until your truce with Ayutthaya ends, and only then declare. After you've revoked this privilege, you may cancel your monopolies, no problem here. Or if you want to, of course, you may keep them for mercantilism, but I'll cancel them. Oh, by the way, it allied with this nation. If it does, or Ayutthaya allies it or someone else, I recommend to conquer it too, because you need it for missions. Here it is, let's conquer it. In the China is pretty isolated, so don't worry about aggressive expansion. If you conquered this province, you may finish this mission, but don't do it until the second war with Ayutaya. You need to weaken it, and only then you might assalize Lansan. Of course, it's only if it's your ally. If your ally is Khmer, you might do it whenever you want. So, here it is. Let's immediately declare on it before it joins the coalition. Let's call in everyone. That's quite unfortunate, but AI doesn't want me to conquer uh, out of provinces, so for missions you need to conquer Suhotai, but to be honest, conquer whatever you want. But try not to get a lot of aggressive expansion if you plan to vassalize Lansan. Now let's break lines with Lansan, finish this mission, and now I can subjugate it. Now let's just wait until the end of the truce. Also, if you want to subjugate whole Lansan, I recommend to improve relations with outrageous countries. And also, don't forget that Spy Network reduces aggressive expansion. That's why I recommend to build it. Because when you subject on Sun, you will get a lot of aggressive expansion. Well, here it is. Now let's declare on our Sun. This war should be extremely easy, because you're already the biggest country in Indochina. Okay, let's do it. Let's subjugate it. Well, it was easy. It was easy. So yes, there will be this scary coalition, don't worry about it. The only big nation here is Ayutthaya. And others are either like uh, OPMs or very low developed nations. So how to keep Lansan loyal? Obviously you need to improve relations with it. Also you may place it local rulers. It will cost you prestige, but it will reduce liberty desire. Also, you may develop its provinces. Here it is, this one is the cheapest. Let's develop it a little. It's already loyal. Of course, it's temporary measure. You need to improve relations with it. Finish this mission whenever you're ready. Don't finish it right away. Also, when the truce ends, declare on Ayutthaya immediately before it joins the coalition. And as third reform, choose this one, the examination system. It's for this mission. I need an administrative advisor, here it is. Yes, here it is. Let's finish this. And I can finish this one. And let's seize land. Let's seize land. I just need to seize land a few times and I can finish this mission too. As for the first idea, I recommend to take either influence or exploration one to colonize North America or Indonesia. I'll take influence ideas. By the way, the coalition has already dissolved. That's why you shouldn't fear it. You have lots of troops and you have Lansan. Okay then, let's subjugate Lanna. Also remember to keep good relations with Min. It's quite important. The truce with Ayutthaya has ended. 
less decor on it. Remember not to generate too much of aggressive expansion. You just need to have truth with it. So, I'll vassalize Lana. Remember that you should do it only when you are ready. If, for example, Lana is too strong, don't complete this mission yet. Let's finally piece it out. Let's do it. Uh, so, I return some cores, take some money, war reparations, and I think that's it. I don't want a lot of aggressive expansion. Let's piece out. See this land? So, I'll develop promises to get 50 crown land. But don't do it, just this land. Here it is. 50 crown land. I've done it so I can finish this mission and finish this video. Now let's raise our stability a little. Here it is. And finish this mission. It's extremely important to finish it before the age of reformation. Now you won't get very nasty disaster. Finish this mission not now, but when you're ready to get one more vessel and when aggressive expansion cools down a little. About mean. Dealing with mean, it's pretty easy. First option is to first conquer Indonesia, then we'll have like 1 or 2000 development, then you can easily declare on mean. Second option is wait until mean passes new reform. Then it will have a very low mandate, it will have a lot of debuffs in combat, and you'll easily win. Well guys, I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day!